All right. Radio Engineering Graphics and Design Learners. This is page 43 in the HSE workbook, but this is going to be drawing techniques that is going to be foundational for all of you starting out engineering graphics and design. So regardless what workbook or textbook you are using, pay attention because in the next few minutes you are going to be richly blessed by what I'm going to show you. All right. First of all, if we have a triangle like this, and they ask us, like in this question, to construct a circumscribed circle for this given triangle with all construction. What does that mean? What does a circumscribed circle for this given triangle mean? In Afrikaans said it, construeer een omgeskrewe cirkel vir die gegewe driehoek. Wat is een omgeskrewe cirkel vir een driehoek serie? What is that? Come on, first time that you heard that. Yes. I love you. Yes. It is a circle which goes through, through all three of these points. It's a circle, one circle, that goes through all three of these points. Some of you might say, I've heard enough, it is impossible. <laughs> impossible. How do I do that? Because what do I have here? I've got a triangle. And I now need to draw a circle that goes through all of these corners. Up to now, you've... I've given you the actual construction method that you're going to apply here. Alright? Can you bisect, do a perpendicular bisector on a line? Can you a middle load line taken up a line? Can you? Yes, of course you can because we've just done it a few minutes ago. What do I do? You take your compass, any size, more than half. I do an arc, arc, yeah, you can start liking, and you can start smiling. Are you with me? Yes, sir. And I draw a construction line. This is all construction. Mine is dark because I want you to see it. People, pick any one of the other remaining sides. I don't mind which one you pick. As long as you are, again, more than half. Let's change the size a little bit here for the sake of seeing if you, I'm not trying to fool you. Flip it. All right, there we go. You are hold, hold on to your drawing board because you are going to be stunned. <laughs> you can now do the same here. And what are you going to find? You are going to find a place where these two lines cross. Are you with me? Yes. And look at this. You take your compass, set it on any one of these three corners. And I'm going to, in faith, Draw my circle. A circumscribed circle, people. I've got someone asking me, how did I do that? <laughs> how did I do that? I used the methods I've just used in the previous. I just did a bi perpendicular bisector on two of these. So it's this line here. Are you with me? A perpendicular bisector that runs here. Tip. One that runs here. Tip. And where it crosses, I, I've determined a center. And all I'm doing now is I'm taking my compass on that center. On that, I can pick any one of them. I'm going to be exactly the same. And I draw a circumcised circle. Are you ready to walk away? Yes. Any questions? Yes, Let's do a test here. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to, again, let me go really big now. Choose another um, just for you to waste my time, all right? Big arc, flip it. Big arc. That one is so big, I missed it here on top. All right, and look here. It's going to go through that point that I've just determined. So it doesn't matter which, which side you bisect. Where any two of them meet, that center is, in other words, the radius... More I can't teach you. That's the radius for that arc. Happy? Happy. We're going to step it up. This isn't all you're going to learn today. We're moving to the opposite side. Now it says, construct a circumscribed circle for the given triangle. It's actually what they said in the previous one as well. Mm -hmm. Omgeskrewe circle 
Okay, what they actually meant here is inside. Now it's it's not it's on the inside. That's what they're actually meaning here. Okay? So they're asking construct a second scrap circle that fits inside this triangle. And the binnen kant van die drie. How in the world? A circle that fits on the inside, that touches all three sides. Who's got a clue? You're going to apply a method that you've already learned. Yes? Close. You are now going to pick any three, any two of the angles and you are going to do a bisector. Any one of these angles. There's the first one. I'll draw it with orange. Construction line. Pick any other one. Any radius. Tip. 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 And tip. And look here. Hold on to your drawing board. Okay? Because if I now use this as the center and I touch here Hey, I, my accuracy is a little bit out. <laughs> okay, don't be mad at me. There we go. Close enough. Okay, accuracy left a little bit. <laughs> All right. But there we, is. there we have. Now we have a circle on the inside, and I applied what I learned on page 4.1. I applied this technique of bisecting a given angle. Pick any one of the three, two of the three, okay? Got the center, that now helped me to get my inscribed circle. On this side, it was the first technique bisecting a, by, uh, the perpendicular bisector that helped me to get that one. Easy enough, engineering graphics and design is a lot of fun. Take the time to apply that which you have learned, and you'll do well. Radio. Now it's your turn.